I just finished going live on Facebook with my makeup group and I was in this friendship challenge that was uh, teamwork makes the dream work and I was a life makeup look and my partner did death and she did this amazing black lipstick and black and she did this whole scene with the grim reaper and like the world where death scrolled across you can see some of my swatches and things from uh my life but it was it was so much fun and i'm really loving like just being me recently and i hope that everyone feels this way um I just wanted to take some time to talk about something that hits really close to home right now. And, you know, my husband is not deployed. So this is not like that. It's, I'm not actively worried that he's going to be hurt or scared because I haven't heard from him anything like that. Um, he, he is away and um, he's been away for a little over a month and it'll be about two months total before I get to see him again. And this is because, you know, he's, he's Air Force and he went to his, his officer training. I'm super proud of him. He got, you know, specially selected to, to be an officer and we're moving from Hawaii to, you know, take this incredible journey together. But I wanted to talk about, you know, the strength that's needed to to be in a relationship you know we just had valentine's day and we love love just i think as a society everyone loves love and loves the idea of love but sometimes people don't love the actual commitment that it takes to love someone day in and day out every single day of your life and, you know, it's cliche, but I think that loving yourself and being happy with yourself does wonders for your relationship in ways that you might not expect. So for example, you know, my husband is away and I'm holding down the fort and, you know, doing stuff for our move. That's where everything's going in the background. And, you know, I, I had to do all of that myself and, basically keep myself busy here my face uh, you know I've been working out and and joining new new things uh, I started filming YouTube videos which I love it's super fun um, but I think that the best thing that's really come out of me finding myself me doing this you know diet and exercise regime and these YouTube videos and you know going live on Facebook and volunteering and things like that is you know I'm so happy and content right now don't get me wrong I love him and I wish he were here but I'm okay and I'm strong and me being strong allows him to focus on what he needs to focus on right now because he doesn't have to worry about me and that's my line of thinking is like you know I'm gonna be strong and take care of myself and love myself so he can love me more and the things that sometimes seem selfish are actually for those that we love so take care of yourself too you know maybe you're putting in really long days and doing things that aren't necessarily something that your partner needs you know what what are your love languages from you know those five love languages does your partner even react to and feel loved from gifts do they feel love from time and attention um, from words of affirmation like what what is it your partner needs and you know love them like that uh something else i wanted to talk about is communication and you know, I was just talking to a coworker about this who was having problems with another coworker. And this was what I told him. And I, I said, you know, in relationships, be it, you know, a, a love significant other relationship or a work relationship or a friendship, communication is the key. And again, it's cliche, but I can't stress it enough. 
And I'm not saying, you know, say everything that you want all the time. No, the way you communicate is key. Make sure that when you're talking to someone, you are actually listening to them to understand what they are saying, to understand what they are feeling, and take that and go forward. Not listening to respond and get angry at the person. It's not helping you, it's not helping them. Just stop what you're doing when you're you're in a fight with somebody or you're in a heated discussion or something. Stop, listen to that person. What are they saying? What are they, they needing from you? You know, maybe you think that the way that they feel is stupid. Maybe you don't understand why they feel that way. It doesn't matter. That's how they feel and you don't get to choose how they feel. You just have to at some point say, okay, I, I don't really get it, but since you feel that way, how can we move on from here? How, how can we, you know, make this better? And I think that the second that I started really having adult relationships was when I started effectively communicating and fighting fair and making sure that the words that were coming out of my mouth was something that I meant, not something that I said in the moment that I can't take back. So those were just a couple things that I was thinking about with regard to love and Valentine's Day. And um, my husband and I are going to actually celebrate Valentine's Day when we see each other again. And I'm very excited. He has to buy me some flowers, but not this kind because this kind would kill me, like roses or something. So anyway, um, I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And you know, you have a wonderful relationship with your significant other and with yourself. So take care until next time.